Hello everyone, my name is Sakshi and today we will see how to perform ACT type 2 in Informatica Cloud. So let's understand what is ACT type 2. So it is used to maintain complete history of record in target. When the value of the record changes, the record is made inactive and the record is created with modified data values and it is considered as, as an active record. We need the surrogate key in ACD type 2. Basically, we are using the primary key, but surrogate key is work on behalf of primary key in ACD type 2. I will show you the example what is the difference between surrogate key and primary key. So, there are three types of the ACD type 2 we can implement. First is, is the effective date range mapping, means with the help of using start date and end date we can do this or we can implement uh, this mapping second is flag current active flag current mapping means flag is active or inactive by doing this we can implement the SAT type 2 and third is version data mapping so i will explain you one by one how we can achieve these all the approaches in SAT type 2 so we'll see first start effective date and end effective date. So start effective date is represent the effective date and the end effective date is when the record is no longer active. The end effective date is always greater than the start effective date. The record considered active in ST type 2 when we are using the start and end date when it represent a future date. So let's understand with the mapping. We will create one mapping. We will give the name for the mapping. Select source as Oracle. Now we'll take one expression. In expression, we will create the output port for start effective date and end effective date. So output naming convention is O, start effective date. We will select the data type as a date time. We will create one end effective date. Now we will configure, we will give the start effective date as a timestamp. And in end effective date, we will give one by default date. In date format we will pass here. Now we will take one lookup, we will give the start and end effective date condition in lookup. In lookup condition, we will resolve the field name conflict by giving the prefix name. So here we will give the condition on id. You can give the multiple condition here. Give the end effective date. 
is greater than our start effective date. Now again we will take one expression here for the record flag. We will give the condition on the customer ID here. So it will insert and update our record. So what condition we will do give here if is null lookup customer id then insert the record and if lookup customer name is not equal to source customer name or lookup mobile number is not equal to source customer mobile number we will compare these ports validate the condition it's validated now we will take the router here and in router we will create two groups two output group one for insert and one for update So here is the object option for the insert and update the record. So we will insert create two group here. One for update the record. In configuration, select the advanced property. Here we will give the condition if O record flag is equal to I or O record flag is equal to U. Validate. Click on OK. update record we will give the condition if o record flag is equal to update validate save we will create one more target here for the update This is for insert. So we will take the sequence transformation here to create the sequence of the surrogate key. In sequence transformation in advance we will disable the incoming fields here. We connect to the insert. In field mapping for the surrogate key column, we will pass the next value.
here. Okay, save this. We will see this record flag and record version after this. So we will connect the inserted record to the inserted target and update it for the second target. Here we'll select the update and we'll update the column on the basis of this surrogate key. So guys, I have a one question for you. Suppose what happens if you do not specify type for a dimension? Please comment the answer. So here in the field mapping, we'll pass the end effective date to our start effective date. So I will pass here start effective date to end effective date. And SK. Now save this. So mapping is valid. We will create the mapping task. Now we will run this. So you can see in my source there are two records. So let me change my source. So there are three records. Okay, let me restart. And in my target, there are no record. Okay, we'll truncate this. Okay, so the record is loaded. The mapping is succeeded. Okay, let me copy this. So you can see here the start effective date is less than my end effective date means my end effective date is greater than this right now we'll change the record count suppose if i deleted this record from Sunil, suppose if I add Gurpreet from India and if I add one more record, suppose 50 see. now we see result 
will restart the mapping so what output we want here now we change this 30 right so what we want we want this plus this updated record and this inserted record so this will be our inactive record this will be the active record means what the future date the start date of this is greater or less than end date and this will be the start and end date will be the same so let's see mapping is succeeded let me copy this So you can see here this record is inactive now. Why it is inactive? Because the start date and the future date is same. Now we can see this is the inserted date. Inserted new inserted column. So this is the future date is greater than the start date and group it. One more column is added here with this is our updated record you can see the future date is greater than active that means what this is the active record and this is inactive record now what happened what is the difference between the surrogate key and the primary key so in primary key it will not allow us to duplicate records right for example this is my record and now this record is updated with Gurbi. But what happened? If we, if we take the primary key, it will not allow us these duplicate records. 30 customer ID, it will not allow. That's why we are taking the surrogate key here. The surrogate key which work on the behalf of primary key means it will take the duplicate records. Means it will take this one and it will consider it as the new record. Means updated one. So that is the reason we are using surrogate key and this is the interview question what is the difference between surrogate key and primary key. So in this way you can use this start effective date and end effective date with the, in the SAD type 1 in Informatica cloud. Thank you.